Today I have a really exciting Parisian style video for you all with my new Cezanne try on haul. All the pieces I bought from their new Autumn Winter 2020 collection and how I would style them. Now if there's any other Cezanne lovers out there, you'll definitely know that giddy feeling you get when one of these giant boxes arrives in the post. I never actually managed to do a proper unboxing try on video with Cezanne because I'm always way too excited to open it to even get the camera switched on. So for full disclosure, this is a sorry I've peeped already unboxing try on haul. And if that wasn't exciting enough, I shall also be styling all my new Cezanne pieces with a beautiful collection of jewellery I've just discovered called Majuri. Known for their exceptional quality and craftsmanship, not to mention their ethical practices as a company, I knew this jewellery brand would be just my cup of tea. Okay, I'm surrounded in beautiful pieces, but let's start with something that was proving particularly difficult to get my hands on. I don't know how many stores I looked at to find the perfect pair of white winter trousers, but it felt like I'd looked at the whole high street and some insanely expensive designers. I finally thought I'd found a pair at Massimo Dutti, but then they were constantly out of stock, so I felt like just giving up. And then Suzanne came to the rescue and brought out this beautiful pair of wool blend white wide leg trousers, which was exactly what I was looking for. Let me put this box down because it's just gonna keep rustling. So this beautiful pair of trousers have been made from a blend of wool and recycled polyester. So it ticked my fabric and my sustainable box at the same time. These have got a high waist and that lovely seam running all the way down the front and a wide leg at the hem. So it was definitely the shape I was after as well. Now I know I'm going to be able to style these in so many different ways, dressed up with heels, dressed down with trainers, or like today with a bit of a French woman style with my Breton top and ballet flats. Now for this particular outfit, I thought it would look nice styled with some large earrings. So I went with the oversized hoops by Majuri made from 14 karat gold. Tying my hair up out of the way to keep my neckline clear, but also showing those earrings off at the same time. Now Majuri will actually be celebrating Black Friday and Cyber Week with some exclusive discounts, offering 10% off when you buy one, 15% for two, and 20% when you buy three or more. And that's including their small leather goods and milestone rings. So to receive some of those exclusive discounts at the end of this video, when you've had a look at all the jewelry I chose, do pop over to their website, have a look at their collection, and as always, the link is in the description box below. Now, if you live somewhere warmer than me, first of all, I'm very jealous, lucky you, but you could then leave this outfit as is. But if it's a little bit cold, I would layer on top something like this new navy wool coat that I've just got in from Debenhams. Now, this is from their own collection, Clay, which I have to say, I really, really like. The fabric actually feels really beautiful, and it's currently on sale for £44.50 at the moment, so, I thought that was a great buy. Now next up, I found this wool blend mini dress, new in at Cezanne, and I was eager to give it a go. Now it actually feels like cotton rather than wool. It's quite structured. It feels really nice quality, like it's gonna last really well. Now I'll be honest, when I first tried this on, I was dubious whether the style was really me. The waist feels like it's coming up a little bit high, like it's sitting more on my ribs than my actual waistband. And I wasn't sure if it was just a little bit too short for me to get away with. But then I saw David in the hallway, who's normally super critical. He will always say what he thinks, whether you want to hear it or not. And he goes, oh, that's a nice dress, something a little bit different. So it made me kind of think, hmm, maybe I've got that one a bit wrong. So I'm all undecided. I would love to know what you all think. Now, though the neckline is relatively high, I liked it styled best with the hoops. I think that really suits the style of the dress. And I added my tan leather belt, which I do think breaks up the fabric nicely. So quality-wise, it's as beautiful as Cezanne always is, but style-wise, I'm just not sure if it's actually me. So I'll wait to hear from you all in the comment section before I make a decision. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, it would be really lovely if you could do so. And don't forget to press all notifications on the pop-up. You can also follow my daily style pictures over on Instagram at Fashion and Style Edit. So next up to the Gaspard, one of Cezanne's classic best-selling pieces that they have available in so many different gorgeous tones. 
Now it's been made from a blend of alpaca and mohair and trust me, as someone who's suffered with eczema my entire life, and particularly in winter because of all the knitwear that I kind of get irritated to, for whatever reason, this one doesn't drive me mad. It doesn't irritate my skin. I'm not quite sure how they've done that, but I'm really glad I can wear them. Now I wear these as a cardigan, but I also very carefully pick out the label so I can turn them around and wear them as a jumper too. Now, as you can see today, I've left a couple of buttons open to make it feel really relaxed. And I've paired it with a palette of neutrals, but slightly darker tones of camel. I think that deep tone of the trousers really complements the softness of the pastel pink. Here I've added the 18 karat gold vermeil twin necklace by Missouri. The quality is just beautiful and it's perfect for layering should you wish, as you can see I am doing here. The Coco Chanel classic that will never age or fail you for that matter when you want an instantly chic outfit idea. So in this outfit I've layered it with a white button down shirt underneath, put it with one of my favourite pairs of straight leg jeans and my classic white trainers. And though I do normally like to tuck my tops in, I've kept this one out because I wanted it to feel super relaxed. Now I think this look warrants simplicity with your jewellery, just a sprinkle of gold here and there. So I've added these 14 karat gold twin hoops which give the illusion of a double piercing. Now the plain ring Missouri describe as the white tee of rings is that classic stacker ring that will go with pretty much everything. With the 360 ring sat beside it which for me is beautifully simple to perfection. Now I must admit, when it comes to Cezanne, all my practicality just gets thrown out the window. I just fall in love with all of their pieces and any well-intentioned lists I might have written tend to get forgotten. But one piece that did finally get me back on track was this beautiful camisole top. I needed one so I didn't feel too guilty for buying it and having been made from 100% silk and retailing at £65, I thought it was beautiful quality that was affordable for my budget. Now I do much prefer camisole tops with this V shape at the front here rather than a cowl neck or a square neck. I find it more flattering, especially when you pair it with a blazer, which is what I often tend to do. Now to really make the most of that lovely deep neckline, I've paired it with this absolutely beautiful lariat style necklace by Missouri. Now it's been made from gold vermeil, a thick layer of 18 karat gold on sterling silver, set with a triple A quality sapphire that just catches the light as you move. Worn with my jeans and my ankle boots keeps the whole vibe relaxed. But with those little touches of silk and gorgeous jewellery makes it feel polished and elevated. A perfectly formed Suzanne try-on haul wouldn't be complete without at least one beautiful pair of shoes. Now these are something that I wanted to spoil myself to way back when, I think in January actually, but I didn't go for it. But with the state of the world at the minute, I kind of figured, sod it Jessica buy the shoes. Now in my humble opinion, Suzanne have just got everything right with this pair of heels. They're pointed, but they're not so pointed that they're going to cripple your feet. When you look at the front, this V shape here down to the toes is really lengthening, quite slimming. They've been made from suede, which feels a little bit more luxe. And they've apparently got a specially designed arch for extra comfort. Now I don't think me prancing around the house in them quite qualifies as testing them out in terms of comfort. So I'll have to get back to you on that one. Now I'm also very happy to report I finally found my black Suzanne jeans. They were hiding in Albert's drawer. He's now taller than me so I must have got confused and thought they were his. But I love the fit of these jeans so I'm really chuffed I found them again. Now if there's one thing French women do so very well it's looking perfectly chic without looking like they've tried very hard. So that's the vibe I was trying to channel here. Dressed up, but in a really effortless fashion. Now I decided to layer my necklaces in this outfit to add a bit more interest to my top section. Using the twin necklace again and this beautiful gold bold link chain. Now I've added that one slightly higher so I can have them falling in those nice staggers. And I've also kept the bold link chain bracelet on to match. Depending on climate, a nice addition to this outfit would be a blazer and you could just use that as outerwear and take it off when you get where you're going, once we're allowed to go out again. I like it both ways to be honest, and though I wouldn't say my feet are super comfy in my heels, I am a little bit in love with them anyway. I 
can't tell you how much I've enjoyed filming this video. One beautiful collection of clothes from Cezanne sat with a stunning collection of jewellery from Majori. I do feel like a kid in a candy store right now. I do love to chit chat with you in the comments section so do let me know your thoughts on all the outfits I've shown you today. Do pop over and have a look at Majori's collection. The link as always is in the description box below and don't forget about all those exclusive discounts they have for Black Friday and Cyber Week. Thank you so much for watching. I am always grateful and I will see you in a couple of days.